Let's go through rationalizing thirds. Why do we rationalize thirds? It's basically to get rid of the third at the bottom of the fraction. So if I had two root three, and it was equal to three x, and I needed to take root three to the other side, I would be multiplying both sides by root three. Now that's really complicated, and I don't want to complicate my question, which is why when I rationalize it, I get rid of the third at the bottom of my fraction. So for example, if I had six divided by root three, I already know that if I did root three multiplied by root three, it would cancel out the third. So I'm going to multiply the top by root three and the bottom by root three, and it's going to give me six root three over root th over three. Now six divided by three can simplify, and that is going to give me two, and uh, the root three stays. So that simplified to give me two root three. Now this still might be a little bit more confusing, so let's start, write down some rules for rationalizing thirds. So my first rule is fractions in the form one over root a. So for fractions in the form one over root a, multiply the top and the bottom of the fraction by root a that's your first rule your second rule is four fractions in the form one over a minus root b multiply the top and the bottom of the fraction by a plus root b and your last rule is fractions in the form one over a plus root b multiply the top and the bottom the bottom of the fraction by a minus root b this is just your basic rules so that you can cancel out the thirds. So for example, if you had one over two plus root five, you'd multiply it by two minus root five over two minus root five. If you had one over three minus root two, you'd multiply it by three plus root two over three plus root two. Now, before we move on to some questions, I'm just going to show you one more thing. Now, if I did 3 multiplied by 1, the value is still 3. If I did 789 multiplied by 1, my answer is still 789. Now, 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. 695 divided by 695 is also equal to 1. Therefore, if I did 3 multiplied by 3 over 3, I'm literally doing 3 multiplied by 1 and even though my answer might look different, uh, it might look like 9 over 3, the value is still the same as 3. That's like me doing um, 600 multiplied by 30 over 30, I'm multiplying it by 1 so whatever I get my value is still going to be 600, the value is not going to change. Therefore if I did, so if I did root 3 plus 1 divided by root 3 plus 1, the value is just 1. The, it is equal to 1 because I'm doing the same thing divided by the same thing. So my answer is just going to be 1 for this. So if I do anything multiplied by 1, my answer is still going to be the same. It's just going to be written in a different format. So if I rationalize and I multiply something by root 3 over root 3, I'm literally just timesing it by 1. So my value is not going to change, it's just going to be written differently. Okay. So now let's go through some questions rationalizing thirds. Okay, so if I had this question here, which looked like this, four plus two root three, bracket four minus two root three, divided by root 11, and I need to rationalize this. And the first thing we need to do is I'm going to pull out um, the brackets from the top and I'm going to expand them. So I've got four plus two root three, I've got 4 minus 2 root 3, and I'm going to work this out. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times minus 2 root 3 is going to give me minus 8 root 3. 2 root 3 times by 4 is going to give me plus 8 root 3. And 2 root 3 times 2 root 3, 2 times 2 is going to give me 4. And 
root 3 times root 3 is going to give me 3. Now that simplifies to give me minus 12. So I've got 16 minus a root 3 and plus a root 3 cancel out. So now I've got 16 plus 12, which simplifies to give me 4. So all of the top of my bracket, they literally simplified to give me 4. So now I'm left with 4 root 11. So 4 divided by root 11, sorry, is not my final answer and I will not get the full marks for this because there's a third at the bottom. So to get rid of the third at the bottom, I need to rationalise. So I need to multiply by root 11 over root 11, which is going to simplify to give me 4 root 11 over 11. Okay, when it's, because when a third is multiplied by a third, it cancels out. Okay, now we're going to go through two questions today about rationalising thirds. So write them down, take a minute to try them yourself. So 5 plus 2 root 3 divided by 2 plus root 3. And I've got 3 root 3 plus 3 and 3 plus root 3. Okay, so rationalise these thirds and have a go. Okay, so you paused the video, had a go, and now let's go through them. So to rationalise this, there's 2 plus root 3 at the bottom, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 minus root 3. So 5 plus 2 root 3 over 2 plus root 3 multiplied by 2 minus root 3 over 2 minus root 3. So now I'm going to make the top into brackets and the bottom into brackets. I'm going to work the top one first. So 5 plus 2 root 3 multiplied by 2 minus root 3. If I multiply them and expand them out, 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times root 3 is going to be minus 5 root 3. 2 root 3 multiplied by 2, 2 is going to be plus 4 root 3. And then 2 root 3 multiplied by root 3 is going to be minus 2 times 3, which is minus 6. That simplifies to give me 10 minus 6, which is 4. And then minus 5 root 3 plus 4 root 3 is going to give me minus root 3. So the top of my bracket simplifies to give me 4 minus root 3. Now let's look at the bottom, which is 2 plus root 3 and 2 minus root 3. So I've got 2 plus root 3 and I've got 2 minus root 3. That gives me 4 minus 2 root 3 plus 2 root 3 minus 3. Plus 2 root 3 minus root 2 root 3 cancels out. 4 minus 3 simplifies to give me 1. So now my final bracket simplifies to give me 4 minus root 3 over 1. And when it's divided by 1, it literally just equals 4 minus root 3. So this bracket, uh, fraction here can simplify to give me 4 minus root 3. Now let's have a look at this one. This here, to rationalise it, I need to multiply by 3 minus root 3 over 3 minus root 3. Okay, this is a bit confusing, this one. Even me, I find it confusing because it's got a lot of 3s in it. So let's look at the first top bracket first. We've got 3 root 3 plus 3 and we've got 3 minus root 3. 3 root 3 multiplied by 3 is going to give me 9 root 3. 3 root 3 multiplied by root 3 is going to give me minus 3 times 3. Then 3 times 3 is going to give me plus 9. And then 3 times root 3 is going to give me plus 3, sorry, minus 3 root 3. Now, minus 3 times 3, that simplifies to give me minus 9 plus 9 minus 3 root 3. Minus 9 plus 9 cancels out. 9 root 3 take away 3 root 3 is 6 root 3. So the top of my fraction is going to simplify to give me 6 root 3. There we go. Just 6 root 3. Now I'll look at the bottom, which is 3 plus root 3 multiplied by 3 minus root 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times root 3 is minus 3 root 3. Root 3 times 3 is plus 3 root 3. And root 3 times root 3 is plus, sorry, minus 3. Now, minus 3 root 3 and plus 3 root 3 cancels out, and 9 minus 3 is going to give me 6. So the bottom of my fraction is going to be 6. So now I've been given 6 root 3 divided by 6. 6 divided by 6 cancels out, and my final answer is literally going to be root 3. So see how this fraction here can be written as root 3, and this fraction here can be written as 4 minus root 3.